Howdy folks, I need to make up a mount for my video transmitter and Foxeer Arrow V3 camera uh, to mount on the tail of the My Fly Dream Nimbus 1800. Now the Nimbus has uh, already provided uh, a couple of screw points for the FPV transmitter mount to go into, so I'm going to use them. And what I need to do is mount the transmitter vertically like that and I want to have the camera sitting up about here. So I've done a little bit of a preliminary sketch. This is the sort of thing I need and I'm going to use uh, PVC plastic. Uh, this is just a piece of plastic cut from some PVC piping. That's about two millimeters thick I think, 1.5 or two millimeters, which should be the right thickness. So I've just uh, cut off a 40 millimeter uh, round, opened it up, flattened it out, and I'm just going to sort of cut out this shape and f heat bend it into shape using a, a heat gun. So I've taken some measurements of the various items, the width of the video transmitter, the, the height uh, to clear those wires, and uh, I'm going to pop the, transmit, uh, the aerial mount through a little hole for a bit of extra uh, security. So that needs to be about 65, no, about 62 millimeters height for that. Uh, width is about 25 millimeters. The camera width is about 30 millimeters for the mount. And the camera is going to sit up about 30 millimeters off the boom just to get a bit of extra vision. So we sort of have to hold it something about like that, I guess. So a bit of a sketch here, this sort of shows you the thought process that I go through. So let's get to it uh, and start cutting. 90 millimeters length is what we need. And with this stuff you can actually cut it with tin snips pretty well for some of the cuts. Now it's about a, a one centimeter turnover at the bottom. 25 millimeter wide section, 30 millimeters up. And we need to drill the, the hole over in that corner as far as possible. And this fold, kind of a double fold, that'll be about 12 millimeters and 25. Distance between centers for the mounting screws is 35 millimeters. I have for the antenna it's about a five six mil drill, something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but it doesn't really matter. Close to the edge and as close to the top as possible. Be pretty rough really. That's good. I'm gonna drill a hole where the camera mount bends over. And cut down here with the tin snips. Can round off this top a little bit as well. And that can probably come down here like that. Bend over there is we need 62 to there, so that's where that's going to bend. Maybe even a bit higher. So I can cut a bit, a little bit of that off as well. Just saving a bit of weight, making it look nice. Cut that off there. I like to cut the corners off often too. Drill holes for the mounting screws. May need to adjust them to straighten it all up. Okay, now we can apply some heat and bend everything into shape. Now it's a good idea to have sort of items that you can bend things around without burning your fingers too much. Flat pieces like this, they all help. And it's good to sort of just heat the bits that you want to bend too. So I just want to bend this piece up here. So I'll get that heating. Hot. That should be enough. 
rule is hot now and just bend that up 90 degrees nice 90 degree would be good there we go more like that just hold that for 30 seconds or so until it sets that's good now now I want to form the camera mount I don't want to bend that other one just yet so I'll just try and heat this bit that to bend up and that to bend down something like that it's pretty good really so there's the little camera mount now I just need to bend this bit over just trying to keep it all at right angles Alright, let's see how things fit. Close, I can shave off a bit of that to make it mount vertically, but that doesn't really matter. Just going to have a cable tie around here. And the camera will mount on top there. Just with some screws through, and that will mount on there. And we're just going to use a couple of 9 gram screws, 9 gram servo screws. They poke out the bottom a bit, so I might clip them off or tape them up or something like that. So I've just given myself a little bit of wiggle room, just elongated that front mounting screw hole so I can so I can adjust the angle a little bit. Now the video transmitter I will just cable tie around there to keep it secure those cables out of the way so I can tidy all of them up something like that but there we are we're basically done